Guys, I have finally gotten the Monorim version 2 suspension for the Xiaomi M365 scooters. This video might be a bit long. We're gonna fit the suspension to my scooter. We're gonna be going step by step through the whole process. So save this video because you might need to revert back to it at some stage. So we're gonna go through the tools that we're gonna be needing. We're gonna do a few speed ramping in the video to make it a little bit more quicker for you. But we're gonna be going through it in detail, which is important. Let's get right into it. Let's open this box. Okay, let's open it up here. Got some padding, a manual. Now we have some QR codes, we don't need those. We have a few parts here, one for the stem. We also have one for the front mudguard as well. By the way, if you want to get this kit, this is gonna be linked in the description of this very video. So if you wanna go and buy it, you know, off you go, get one if you wanna improve your scooter. This is the spring we're gonna be using. This is the recommended spring. You have a yellow one, but don't worry, there's a yellow one already inserted inside. This will be for lighter people. It's entirely up to you, but this one has been recommended. So that's the one that I'm gonna be using. That's our spring. We have a few tools here. We're not really going to be using these to be honest because they're not really the best of quality, which is the only thing, you know, that's the problem with this suspension. But we're going to be using correct snap-on tools. Really good, higher quality ones because we don't want to, you know, ring anything. We don't want to round anything off. So we're going to be using these ones. We have this part here, which is for the suspension that gets installed last. Let's have a look at this bad boy. Whoa. This thing is not light by any means. This must weigh around two kilos, I'd say. It doesn't look heavy, but I'm telling you, it is flipping heavy. So we're gonna be using this one, the one that we get with it, obviously. You can get these in black. Personally for me, I'm gonna be changing this to the air one at some stage in the future. So keep an eye out for that video. I need to order it because they're a little bit tricky to get hold of and there's so many on the market because the air ones are supposed to be better, but these ones are supposed to be decent as well. We have of course a few, the bearings here as you can see on the end. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to basically disassemble parts on the scooter before we even go ahead and install this. So let's get right into that. First things first, we're gonna to need to take off the stickers and then we're gonna take off the caps right here. What I'm gonna be doing is actually after these stickers you know they're good but i actually have some silver ones in stock and i have some orange ones in stock and i have other multiple colors ones in stock so if you need any just have a look on my facebook shop page so i'm personally going to be you can see here how really strong they are i'm personally going to be throwing these ones out in the bin one of them off we're gonna clean them before we apply the new stickers. I'm gonna be putting silver ones on there. So we're gonna be cleaning that glue residue later on. 2.5 millimeters. Don't be nervous about doing anything like this. I think the most important thing is to take your time, have the correct tools. Okay, there's our cap. We're gonna pop our screws back in this because you want everything to go with everything the way it just came off the scooter. Just do that as a top tip there, have everything nice and neat as you can see. We're gonna also take these off so it's easier for us to actually get the nut off the front wheel. Let's take these off. And then when we do take off the wheel, we're going to be putting these back on because we don't want to be doing this later on. So these are smaller than the ones we just took off. Of course, you don't want anything getting mixed up. You don't want to be second guessing yourself. Far side, there's only two. bit of play here which is good so we're going to be using air uh, the spanner we got with the kit we're going to be using that to hold this side while we try and unscrew the far side so is 18 this side okay then we're going to be using the good spanner the snap-on spanner on the opposite side of course this is easier if you have two people but if you're on your own like me well you just have to deal with let's have a crack here You're having if you're on your own like me even put the skewer on the floor because 
it's a bit awkward when you're on your own, you know? But it goes to show, with the right tools, it's so much more flipping easier because people have said that they have rung the spanners off. Okay, not too bad. So we're gonna put the wheel on the back here, make sure that's nice and safe. After we have the, the wheel removed, the screws back in. Next step is we're gonna take out the center bolt here, size five. Spot. Next we're going to be loosening this one and the one on the far side. Next thing we're going to be taking off is going to be, after taking off the stem area, we're going to be taking, loosening this one and then we're going to be popping off the washers and all everything basically with the bearings are. This one is a size three. We want to keep everything in order, so we're going to keep these two together, just like they came off the scooter, like this. I'm going to just, the shoe just pop out. There we go. Not doing too bad so far. We have our bearing here, and we have our top parts here. Like so, we're going to keep them two little parts together. Our bearing, which is fine, we're going to be reusing this bearing. The first thing that we need to do is just loosen this, size five. That out. Twist that anti clockwise. Take out the yellow spring, put in the blue spring. You have the new bearings with the suspension. I'm just going to use the original for now. This is the old one of the first part of the original part of the stem. Let me just pop this up like so. Pop the old bearing in, pop the old parts in. Next part, we need to get the bolt that we got with the scooter. So we have two spacers. We're gonna pop one on this side. We're gonna put the spacer on, as you can see. Spacer on the far side, pop it in. As far as you can, till you get a squeeze. Okay, next step. We're going to tighten everything up. Step is we're gonna put the stem back on. Just need to pop it down like so. Now what we're gonna ideally want here is we're gonna want a small gap right here. So the manual that we get with the scooters, we're gonna wanna just have a small gap here because we don't want this rubbing. We'll just put it on the far side, leave it one mil gap there. Then we're gonna need to straighten everything. Make sure it's straight, make sure the stem is straight, get everything aligned like so, then put it back together. So the first thing put the, the bolt back to the stem. Mud guard on. So how you assemble this goes silicone, washer, then silicone. Streets are playing with my mind. I'm Pretty good to get a good Allen key set. Okay, next is we're gonna be putting our wheel back on. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me that 
We finally have the suspension fitted on my Xiaomi M 365 Pro. I'm gonna be doing a video, a review of the suspension itself. I just took it on a quick spin there. So I'm gonna make a really good video testing it out, many things like that. It's linked in the description, by the way, if you wanna go and purchase it. If this video has helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you wanna see more videos just like this, click on the videos as well that are showing up on screen right now to watch more Xiaomi videos that I've done. In the meantime, stay safe, take it easy, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Everything